Hi, this is a video guide on installing a printer potty waste ink kit to a Epson Photo PX660. Right, what I'm going to do um, is just prop this up so that you can actually see um, most of the relevant area. Um, the bit you're really looking for, where the waste tube exists, is in here. This is a trap door. So what we do is um, there's a little catch at the top here. I'll just use this to get in. But you just put your tool in and pull back slightly. Or at least that's the idea. There you go. And that will release the trap door to show you a waste tube. Right, what you need to do is release this tube off of uh, there's a little plastic nipple which this is stuck onto. Um, what you'll need to do is just gently pull this off. Right, getting the actual tube off um, can be a bit of a bugger and when you're trying to uh, demonstrate this on a video you just keep getting in the way of the camera. So we've moved on to here's one we've prepared earlier. Um, effectively what you need to do is just keep working it, working it, working it and uh, use uh, something like a jewelry screwdriver to just sort of lever it slowly along and eventually it'll let go. You only ever need to do that once. <laughs> So uh, it's a pain, but once it's done, it's done. In terms of fitting this connector into that open end there, um, when you get to do it, you will be able to get your fingers in um, to get hold of this, do that, and actually push the, the part in. Um, but because I'm trying to show you what I'm doing, um, it's a bit tricky for you to actually see. So I'm using these um, forceps to actually help me. So what I'm going to do is just grip it there so that I've got a grip and so you've got some view of what's going on at least. And then literally just gently forcing it in. One thing I forgot to do actually, before I start anymore, wet this, lubricate it, spit, a um, bit of water, it doesn't really matter, but that will help enormously. Um, what you do is you just push that in, slowly but surely, um, and you want to get that all the way in. Be very careful not to pull the main tube all the way uh, out. Um, you don't want to be pulling hard on this bit here, because if you do, you'll pull it off the pump and knacker your printer. Sorry, technical term, break your printer. Right, now then, the way you can see that now, hopefully, is that that is more or less on. So that's that's more than sufficient for what you need. Right, now then, the next part of this process is to actually exit the printer so that um, you um, can shut your trap door again. Now, the key thing to bear in mind is you do not want your, I'll show you with this tube here, but you don't want your tube on the inside or the outside to do this. You don't want it to fold, you don't want it to kink. If you do, um, that it will basically stop any ink flowing through. So be very careful about that. Um, think about your path out um, and just gently manipulate your tube until you have a nice clean path so that it can come out something along the lines of about there. What I'm going to do is take the bottom of the trap door, work out roughly where it is, and in this case I'm just going to use a pair of pliers to stress and cut the trap door. Now you can use a hacksaw, you can use a drill, you can do whatever the heck you like, but for the purposes of this um, I'm going to use that and then I'm just going to get a blade and cut it. Right, when you've modified your trapdoor the way I have here, um, so that you're happy, what you now do, and we've floodlit this for you so that you can actually see, if we zoom in a little bit, um, where everything's located. What I'm going to do now is just gently put that over and then snap back into position. And that's it. Basically, your kit is now installed. The, obviously, the one key thing that you're going to find is you're not really going to be able to shut this properly. And if you ever need to 
<laughs> do it, you can make a small modification, a notch or something, and maybe sort of here. Um, but this is never really going to close 100% anymore. For the purposes of the demo and things, um, that's more or less it. Um, we'll now show you the whole thing together. So, with your installation, you then take your external tank, screw it on. Make sure a clamp here is undone. That's on. That's off. Make sure the actual tube doesn't have any kinks or bends in it at all. Make sure that's screwed on properly and that this vent hole actually exists and is, is all sorted. And then because you've got uh, the Solo Plus 2 kit here, you can then put your, your kit out of the way behind um, something. One key thing to bear in mind, waste kit should never be up here. It should never be down below your printer either. You'll either create um, a flow back, a backflow, sorry, or you'll end up creating a siphon that will drain your CIS system or refill up cartridges. And that's basically it. Um, a Solo Plus 2 kit installed on a PX660. But what you do is you basically get hold of the tube end and then gently pop the connector end, this bit here, into the other end. <laughs> <laughs>